Guys, uh, well, Ghost and I promised to do a follow-up video to see if the situation had indeed changed with the uh, super not-so-sigil uh, double drop rate chests on this momentous weekend. And Ghost has been doing some checking up on Facebook, mm -hmm. forums, chat groups, the yeah. internet in general. And so what I've discovered is our rate of 400 per 10 was pretty standard for anyone that actually bought them. Um, and hundreds of people complained and PG took that seriously and lowered the price back down to the 4,000 rubies, which they said it was going to be originally. Um, they did not concede that there was anything wrong with the drop rates, nor did they apologize. That's unexpected. That's very unexpected. So, what we're going to do in this <coughs> video is Somatron is going to open uh, a couple sets of 10 of the super sigils. And then, because so many people said the gold chests were actually dropping more, um, I'm going to open gold chests. Um, I'm going to open up the sigil <coughs> on um, Bay, use those 20 gold chests and then see if I can open up the sphere on Abraxas, which I've decided to do because it's unlikely that I'll be able to get enough sigils to get Aster. Aster. That was her childhood dream ever since she was a little girl when hey, she imagined she'd get Aster, just like I thought I was going to get Oscar insurance under yes. Obamacare. That's a separate issue. Uh, <laughs> no, but all kidding aside, guys, um, the interesting thing here is not only were the uh, double drop rates, super sigil chests overpriced 20%, now well they did give you more eggs and speed ups, marginally so, certainly not as much as they promised, there was not. There was actually one person that did the mathematics on this on the forums and pointed out that they increased the um, amount by more than they actually increased the rate. <laughs> So, and I forget the exact amount. He said 60%, put. but it wasn't 60%. No, 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 no. What he also said was that they were charging for more for the increase than they increased it. So, even though they increased the eggs from 1.1 to 1.5, if it was... 1.3. 1, 1.3 1. for the epic drops. Yeah, they <coughs> should have been like an, like one point seven five and the other one should to equal out what the increase of cost would have been well the increase in cost was 20 percent over gold chest the increase in pro, uh in the acquisition of eggs and speed ups was 20 percent but the drop rate of the sigils did not justify any of this it was actually Mm -hmm. Very unimpressive, as we said on the other video. Yeah. What I did want to mention was that um, in the um, process of getting the extra sigils, I think a lot of people were kind of, well, they were disenchanted with what it is they were expecting, considering how this was hyped. And some early calculations were that um, Morphos with one Divine Dragon would cost $700. Some people went up to $1,700. The truth is the numbers were closer to about $1,100. This is if you don't have one Divine Dragon mm -hmm. and you want to take one Divine Dragon from zero all the way up to Emerald and then the 100 per increment of Morphos. Yes. Uh, I don't have Morphos yet. I have quite a few extra sigils on Faye whom I didn't attain at all just yet and I didn't put any um, runes or glyphs on Aster but mm -hmm. uh, let me tell you something at level 26 he uh, did a pretty uh, good job on the level 312 base a la 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 5840 oh, something yeah, yeah. which whose name has been changing so mm -hmm. you who are higher level players know about that Anyway, what I'm going to do right now is, well, what Ghost and I decided to do is since she's getting an Emerald Sphere, she's going to open up a few sets of gold chests. And I'm going to open up uh, a few sets of the uh, Super Sigil chests and see if the situation has improved any. Uh, one possibility we're contemplating, it could be premature to say, is that PG will wise up or decent up. Certainly decenting up is not a very possibility, but... They may give more next week and we'll stay on top of this mm -hmm. and see what's going on. But I remember that towards the end of getting Al Gore, they started really giving out more sigils. I don't know if they're going to do it this time, but it's been pretty disappointing so far. So what I'm going to do right now is I have, um, I'm going to 
see I have 14k rubies so so I'm going to open up a couple of sets of um, the super sigil chests and yeah. ghost is going to get you should get your phone for this by yes. the way um, she's going to open up a few sets of gold chests because when you get the emerald sphere you get 25 gold chests and she has some I also have six over here so I'll be able to get somewhat of a statistic of what the gold chests give not a very good one but right now, load up your game. I am. Go do start recording. Well, okay. So basically here I start recording as to what's available in the uh, Super Sigil chest. So I'm going to open up 10. Let's see what comes of that. Da -da 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 -da. Take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Well, this is somewhat better. Now, well, it's identical to a result you've gotten. Mm -hmm. I have 250 destiny sigils 150 and 150 so that's 550 total and I have 31 hour speed ups and 63 hour speed ups and 63 hour speed ups and 120 black pearls which are good energy packs are going to be for this competition and 24 healing potions what I do notice is there isn't any of the dragon HP and dragon attacks people were very very upset that mm -hmm. those weren't yes. even in there yes yes so now I'm going to claim a bonus let's see what that bonus will be Ah, 18, 12 hour speed ups. Okay. Anyway, let's go on to open up our next set. This is trial two for the super sigil chest to see if things improved. Okay. Hey, this is really good. Okay. Okay. This yeah. I haven't seen so far. 250 plus 150 plus 150 plus 150. That so, is. yeah, you have five, 700, 700 sigils. And I have 18 3 hour speed ups and 18 12 hour speed ups. That is a pleasant surprise. Let's see. Let's give it a third trial. Yes, should we? Yes. Hopefully, that won't average it back down. Mm -mm -mm. So, that was 700 in the second batch. How much was in the first one? 550. 550. So, that's 1250 so far from 8,000 rubies. So that's 1250 so far from 8,000 rubies. It's better results than we were getting before. Mm -hmm. You don't have enough currency to make an additional purchase. Don't worry, you received your previously purchased items in sufficient currency. Well, let's see what the hell. Okay. Check recorded video in gallery. I'm going to maybe purchase a pack. Okay. To get it, somebody might argue quite. <laughs> Genuinely, we're all. A little messed in the head. Or majorly Just in the head. Little. Yes. So now, we're going to do the third trial and fourth trial to get some mm -hmm. kind of a statistic on this. So now, I'm going to be doing trial three. Yes, this is trial mm -hmm. three. Okay, this is good too. This is 650. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it seems that things on the third trial are improving. Mm -hmm. Egg tokens is also 3.5, is the largest egg drop I've received so far. Claim bonus. They did have a dragon attack thing in there though. Oh, 3.5 egg tokens. Mm -hmm. That's good. The eggs are always well welcome. Major transition from garnet into emerald. I mean, people, if you think it's hard to transition from sapphire into garnet or from platinum into sapphire, wait till you have to hit uh, <laughs> yeah, garnet into emerald. That's a separate issue. Yes. One more trial? Yeah. Okay, kind of crappy, but a lot of eggs. 3.5, 1.3, 1 and 1.3. So basically you have 2.6, uh, like, let's decline that. We don't want to be distracted. It's uh, 4.8, 5.8, over 6,000 eggs and only 300 sigils. But out of the four trials we did, three of them were quite positive. Yes. So I would say overall, based on what I'm observing here in the super sigil chests, the situation has improved dramatically. So from 20,000 rubies, we had 300, 650, right? 950 plus 750, that's 1,700 plus 550, 2250. So we'd gone from getting what? The yeah, we have to see the original sheet, but yes, the situation has improved somewhat. I mean, my overall impressions are. Yes? Hold on a second. She's finding the sheet from the old video. These were the old drop rates. Yes, these were the old drop rates. And uh, based on these drop rates, it would have cost you about $1,100 to have gotten Morphous if you were short one divine dragon from beginning to end. 
and uh, this time from five different drops we what was it the last one was kind of shitty three. 300 the one before that was 650 mm -hmm. right so that's 950 plus 750 1700 and, and 1700 plus, plus 550 2250 so here from what four sets from 16,000 mm -hmm. rubies I got 2250 sigils yeah. so it's significantly better so basically before the raid was from six sets of chests yes from six sets of chests you got 2550 now from four sets of chests we got 2750 mm -hmm. yeah so that's that's quite an improvement again if you're going to do uh, the math, you had an extra 200 sigils from um, two thirds of the chests. So if you're going to do the math, then at this rate, Morphos will probably wind up being closer to about 650, 700 dollars, maybe 750. Mm -hmm. Still hardly a bargain, but at least less of a ripoff. Anyway, Ghost. All right. Uh, basically, so that's it. What I'm doing is gonna we're gonna compare this to the gold chest, and I'm gonna be using my gold chest from um, my emerald sphere for bag. I need 25 gold chests just to see what we're doing here. We're getting the emerald sphere. Yes. Um, we're comparing the gold chest with the super single yeah. chests. And so for here I have 225 and 125. 125. So that's 375. 375. Okay. And then One twenty-five and one twenty-five. So two fifty. Okay. You have also eggs, good eggs. Yeah, three thousand yes. eggs, uh, legendary siege weapons, epic siege weapons, uh, fifteen twelve hour speed up. So good speed ups in these as well, as you'll see in the video. Mm -hmm. Claim I, bonus. Claim bonus. Um, fifteen energy packs. Yes, wunderbar. Um, and then. I'm going to open one set of paid for uh, ruby chests. Yes. Let's see if those are going to be better because our theory is the ones that are paid, paid for are better, yes. Are better. Mm -hmm. 2.25, a lot of eggs. Uh, no extra sigils, 2.25. No, 2.25. No 225. So we are, you are getting more sigils in the sigil chests now. Yes, you are. They've significantly improved. Like I said, they give you an extra couple of hundred for two-thirds of the chests. Yeah. So overall, it's an increase of about 35%, a little more. 36%, even, yeah. Even though Pocket Gems has not said this, it clearly looks that way. Um, At this rate, again, just taking off the top of the head two-thirds. So, yeah, Morphos will run you about 700 bucks versus 1100 mm -hmm. bucks. And so at this point in time, Should I, I open have... up my gold? Sure, open up your gold. I have nine of them. Record. Okay, hold on a second. I'll open them one at a time. Well, let's open up one. Mm -hmm. 25 one hour speed ups. That's one chest. Two legendary siege weapons. Two chests. Well, second chest. Mm -hmm. Third chest. 25 one hour speed ups. It sucks. Eight point seven wood barricades. Great. And I just opened my last two five. epic siege. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, yeah. I just opened my last five um, gold chests that they gave me, and I had another one twenty-five in sigils. That'll be in my little video. I got three k eggs, which That's is good. nice. Yeah, but so far I haven't had a single drop of sigils. Now one point one k eggs, so four point one eggs. Energy packs and the last chest. This is nine. I opened this is the ninth one. Four more energy packs. So, you know, about statistics is so there were eggs back to back and energy packs back to back, not a single drop of sigils. Oh. So, it's interesting for having improved the super sigil drop chests somewhat, not unreasonably so. Very, very few sigils now in the gold chests. Uh, just an observation and I think that might be to make people think the sigil chests are that much better mm -hmm. when then originally they were worse now they're somewhat better but they deflated the gold ones you still can't get an honest deal here either way uh -uh. guys also impression. yes this is my impression and this is her impression I was going to say a couple of things I want to do a personal touch on this video mm -hmm. which has gotten to be longer than the other one 
you know, we're thinking of making a video about the greatest hunters, but honestly, honestly, we're thinking that maybe, ah, uh, yes, this is, the, this is the greatest hunt, yes, velvet, yes, ah, cha, 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 ah, cha, 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 he has double plus try, yes, this is, mwah, 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 the greatest hunter of all, mwah, cha, 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 mwah, also, I was going to say, guys, um, I don't know if I've told you before, Ghost and I are both writers, not ghost writers, writers, whatever. Yeah. And some of the books you have there, including Winter's Coming and Master Margarita, which is done by Mikhail Bulgakov, mm -hmm. great writer, by the way. He died in pain. His wife had to finish taking the dictates. He had many versions of his book. To his dying day, it wasn't published until the late 60s, and I remember I'd gotten one of the first versions by some people whom I knew that was a miniature book about the size of a pack of cigarettes written on cigarette paper. It was published in the 60s, but he knew his book would never actually go, you know, on sale during his lifetime. He'd written about Stalinist Russia and how Wolins, a dark character, aka Lucifer, with his cohorts, had come to Moscow and many things they'd done. Great book. But we too have written books, and one of the books I wanted to show you was one that I had written. Let the Darkness Shine. It's kind of an unusual time for it. By Pavel L. Valve, yours mm -hmm. truly. And I'm thinking I might change the description in the back. You can always pause it to see it. It says a series of essays and prose that will take you on a journey from the grid of the Eastern Bloc to the corporatism of the West spiritually and socially in ways you might like and then again maybe not. Well, this is true. After all, if God may not have a sense of irony, Dark Father, Abbasatra I call him, yes, has a sense of humor, so too false law not mine contract is one I shall keep. <laughs> Their Lord not mine shepherd for I am no sheep. Make of that what you will. Thirteen words. I don't lie, but the truth can be deceptive. Let the darkness shine. Obscurance cum tenebre illuminare. Mm -hmm. The book is available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble, and somebody actually is selling it on eBay out of Australia. Mm -hmm. And Ghost can perhaps tell you a little bit about Gutter Punk. Um, this is my second um, book. Uh, it's a novella uh, called Gutter Punk, and it's one of a series. Um, it's and this book is about Tabitha Moon, who's come to Portland and plans uh, for true change. For her plans and rules are made to be broken. Now she is breaking all the rules. As she moves forward, the mission begins to unravel, forcing Tabitha to question who she is and what she's fighting for when life, love, and mission go off the rails. Elena Cregan is, up and, is an up-and-coming agent at OSBI and plans rules are the blueprint for her success. And now she is looking for a mission to prove herself loyal to the state and the OSBI. When the gutter punk file hits her deck, she enters an underground cover mission and begins to question what she's fighting for and wonders who she can really trust as the mission goes off the rails. They both have failed to realize nothing is what it seems, and they are asking all the wrong questions. The little brother is watching. Yes, and that's Samantha A. Fix. So, guys, here. My beautiful and talented, intelligent better half no. with her book, Gutter Pump. No, it's true. And the books are very different because they take mine as a sociological approach to um, a hidden history of uh, societal secret societal influence and uh, many other things on the human race and she takes more of a literary approach of a dystopian future but the books are ultimately connected and it's based on the premise of what I've come to call the one percent doctrine I'll discuss this in the future videos because I think our channel may actually start taking eh, I don't know semi-political slants maybe. maybe we'll see but what I was going to say was if you ever heard of the one percent doctrine is the people on top think of themselves as gods and us as people or themselves as people and us as animals, peons. peons, well, okay, yes. Be that as it may, I hope the information we've given you here along with some unexpected things, yes, our channel is a little different from that of other folks, it's not okay. to say theirs is bad, but we like to have a flavor that's truly unique, our own. But hopefully the video has been informative, and yes, we were not looking for an excuse to downgrade the chess, but as I said, PG has seen in light of people complaining on Facebook user groups, forums. Oh yeah, like sending tickets, it, people were up in arms about it. And I think one of the main things that really got people riled up was 
the fact that they played up these sigil chests all season and told people, oh, don't save up on your gold chests, don't save up on your gold chests. When these first came out, the gold chests were dropping at a better rate than the super sigil chests. And to top it off, adding salt to the wound was the fact that the super sigil chests were a thousand dollars, thousand rubies more. Um, when we were told multiple times they would be the same price price. and they were shittier they were Mm -hmm. way shittier so again people right now they've improved about 35 36 percent not a major sky up roof but you know upgrade but still more reasonable now they're actually reasonable Mm -hmm. they're not super they're reasonable Eh, they're okay but they've really downgraded the gold chests so yeah so one other thing we're, we're considering doing, um, leave comments about this, is we're thinking about taking, um, because when you get all of the chests in a line, you get about 100, 100 chests, and the last chest is at 125. That's for the emerald. For the emerald sphere. What we're thinking about doing is because you have all the emerald chests for everyone, seeing how many sigils you would get. I don't have it for Fey. I haven't even started no, doing Fey. Right, yet. right, right. But on getting Fey, see. How many, because you have like 6,000 sigils? I have to take a look. Hold on a second. If we start this, how... How much is this going to cost, cost us? You, and how many sigils you get along the way of opening those gold chests if you do this all at one time? Mm-hmm. Um, because I was considering um, opening the Abraxas Sphere and then not trying to get Aster at all. Or use the remaining 4,500 sigils to start along the line. I have 86, I have 8641, so if you need about 26,000, I'm going to need about 17 and a half thousand, uh-huh. a little less. And, uh, and if, sorry, and if you get 100 chests and they average out 250, they're nowhere that's 25, near. yeah, yeah, that's not going to be anywhere near that, so no. It's going to be uh-huh. another 2,500. I don't know if they're going to bring back the super sigils, by the way. They said uh, they would. Okay. Aster made a very favorable impression on me. I haven't put any runes or glyphs on him yet because I'm saving them. I thought maybe I'm going to get Morphos. Mm -hmm. And there's some YouTubers who have Morphos or have yet to get Morphos and said that he didn't justify the expenditure. But Aster made a very, very favorable Mm -hmm. impression on me. He took out 53%. This is boosted, but without a single rune or glyph. Mm -hmm. Uh, 53% and I screwed up the last resurrection of a 312 base. So, yeah, that's impressive. I think when I get him up to level 35, he should be able to blow through a level 312 experience yeah. base. Because he has Steel Essence, he has Resurrection, and he has something else. Yeah. Um, basically, that's it, guys. Sorry, the video turned out to be a little longer than we hoped. We introduced you to our great hunter, who I'm not going to catch. There's fur flying all over the place in the two books that we've written on subjects that may be of interest to you, who are purveyors of fine, different literature, perhaps conspiracy theories that actually mm-hmm. make sense as opposed to concoct things and hopefully we'll see you again so take care there is no knowledge that is not